Hey viewers, this is Fernando from SkyFi Audio. Today we've got a pair of Bowers & Wilkins uh, Matrix 802 speakers. Um, this is what we call a collector set uh, because of the way they've come equipped and I'll go through the different components for you. And then I'll talk a bit about the philosophy on the 802 and why we like it. So this is the, uh, specifically the Matrix 802. This came um, in a variety of, of versions over a few decades, uh, ranging from the early 80s on. The uh, Matrix Series 2 is um, distinguished by the uh, ports, the base ports uh, found at the face of the bottom of the cabinet. Those are the vents for the woofers, and they allow uh, a conventional woofer to provide just a little bit more base than what we call the sealed cabinet. And uh, that's the primary difference between the two. There are some crossover and, and protection differences uh, between the different series, but the, the way to identify the Series 2 is by the, the front ports. So the 802 is a matrix, is called the matrix because of the cabinet design. Um, the base cabinets themselves have um, a matrix a wood um, enclosure. Essentially, uh, it is braced internally in sort of a matrix fashion that allows for a much stiffer cabinet. If you tap on the side of it, um, you can kind of hear the solid reverberation from the cabinet, which was not typical in the time that these uh, speakers were made. Modern speakers uh, do use exotic materials, Wilson particularly, and other makers have uh, decided to use other materials in order to brace the cabinets, but back at the time of the 802 matrix, it was done internally with, uh, with wood bracing. So there's essentially a honeycomb interior to these speakers to provide that rigidity. This is what we call the speaker on speaker design. So it's a three-way speaker where we've got a, a cabinet holding the base drivers, then another cabinet on top holding the mid-range, and then another cabinet on top holding the tweeters. If you notice that the heads on these are actually separated from the bases and they can pivot, so you can turn these um, to angle them towards your listening room or towards your listening position, um, and that'll help with imaging a bit and just to getting the correct placement. Other design um, cues are um, the, the grills on top. This is a uh, sand absorption material here. Um, they do have grills for the mid-ranges and for the woofers themselves. And uh, you'll notice here the tweeters are missing from the, the tweeter covers are missing from here. Uh, the heads can be removed using this bolt here uh, in case you need to service or get to something. Um, the reason we like the 802s and we, we try to buy them whenever we get a chance is, is for their sonic signature. It's, it's a laid back speaker, yet it's pretty dynamic. So it's not as bright or as forward as the modern Bowers and Wilkins speaker would be, uh, mostly because of the tweeter design. And, you know, people tend to fall into two camps. The ones like me that like a more musical laid back speaker, which allows for a longer listening session with a little less fatigue, or the super hyper-realistic tweeters from today and the voicing of a today speaker, which is a little bit more forward, a little bit more what I call hyper-real, uh, almost like a high-resolution television nowadays with a high refresh rate where they are very impressive, but that's not what real life looks like when you look at some of these HDI, HDR, you know, high frame rate televisions. And that's what I equate between speakers. So very musical, laid back. I can listen to it for hours. Um, and uh, it's got a kind of a funky vintage look to them. And um, they come in a different finishes. There is a, a wood finish, which is nice as well, as this uh, ash black. And I like the fact that they're not glossy black like a lot of Bowers modern speakers. The, they almost all now inevitably have a high gloss finish, which looks, you know, heavily used only <laughs> if you just rub up against it. So we call this a collector set mostly because of the features that are included with it. Uh, the first you'll notice these boxes right here. There should be two, but I've only got one on display here. That is a North Creek external crossover. It's a really neat upgrade. I think it cost upwards of $2,500 back in its day. And what it does, is it replaces the crossover that's inside the cabinet to an external unit, which has been uh, sort of tweaked and hot rotted to provide uh, a bit more base, better response. Um, essentially, it's got a different voicing than the standard crossover. 
and it's a really neat upgrade. If you like 802s, 801s, and you can get your hands on a North Creek crossover, um, that is the ultimate setup. So those are kind of ugly boxes. They don't have to sit beside the speaker. There's enough wire in there to put them about three feet away. And you could extend the wiring on them and hide them behind a rack in case you wanted to get rid of them completely. Other cool thing that we've got is these optional uh, 802 speaker stands. We've got a pair of them in the original box over here, which is a real nice addition. And um, they not only lift the speaker but about eight inches, but they provide a space for it to fill with sand or lead weights or whatever to, to kind of give a more steady, a well-grounded foundation. And they do come with spikes as well. And as you can see, they're shaped exactly like the cabinets on the 802s, so they look integrate, integrated once you put them on there. We also have the grills from these speakers, which is neat. Um, they look hardly used, if, if used at all. A lot of people back then would just Keep them in the box since they do look so cool without the grills. And then last but not least, we do have the original packaging on these, which we've never seen before in all the years. You can see this really neat 802 box, 802 Matrix Series 2, as it's stated here. So a real neat addition to the, this sort of collector piece. Um, in terms of you know fit and finish, the cabinet's in really good shape, this black ash does not show any wear or, or chips or any signs of abuse. So they seem to have been well cared for. And then this surface here, this fabric surface, inevitably comes completely soiled and dusty and, and grimy when it gets here from sitting out in someone's room for 30, 40 years. But not these. These must have been vacuumed uh, repeatedly over the years or, or possibly stored for a long period of time. So uh, it's a nice that we didn't have to do anything to the fabric. We usually have to replace it. Um, in terms of the woofers, um, the surrounds are real supple and, and flexible. Uh, these tend to harden over years. So I suspect they have been replaced um, and it's been done pretty well. From a mechanical point of view, they're perfect. From a cosmetic point of view, looks like they were a little careless with the glue on the surrounds. It's really hard to glue these on there without getting some glue somewhere. Um, but from a mechanical point of view, they look to be pretty well done. Here we can appreciate the Bowers and Wilkins logo with the port in the bottom. There's a close up on the tweeters. Let me see if I can get this off, show you the mid ranges. So, this is what uh, Bowers pioneered. This is a Kevlar uh, fabric woven mid range. This is a quintessential Bowers from the 80s and 90s. I think they carried it well into the 2000s before they switched to a more modern material, but that's where a lot of the, well, just behind it, we see an uh, Bowers and Wilkins Nautilus 803 much, much later in production, and they're still using that sort of Kevlar fabric on there. So it was just a little bit after that series that they finally replaced it with something newer. And I'm not sure the newer one is better. I think they just needed to come up with something new and a reason to sell you more speakers. So here you go, uh, Bowers and Wilkins Nautilus, I'm sorry, Matrix 802. Uh, series 2 in black from SkyFi Audio. If you'd like to see these speakers or something like it, uh, our website is loaded with vintage products. Do a quick tour around. You can kind of see the breadth of what we have in a shop at any given time. Uh, SkyFiAudio.com is our website and please subscribe if, uh, if we've earned your, your attention. Thanks for watching.